Welcome back to the channel guys, Leicester Career episode 2. You see we starting off, we offered Liam Moore a new contract because he declined his last one and he's someone who when he comes back from low next season, I really want to put him, maybe he'll go straight into the starting lineup because Robert Hoof, I don't see him in long term plans, Wazilewski hasn't even played for us yet this season. So really it's just Liam Moore and Wes Morgan and Wes Morgan also is getting quite old so even if I do decide to bring in another centre back in the transfer window whether it's in January or next season like Lord, Liam Moore will be in my plans even if he's sitting on the bench he'll be maybe my third choice centre back but he'll most likely get a lot of games next season we've got Ben Luane as well obviously I completely forgot about him but we start the episode off with Sheffield United in the Capital One Cup. We have some tough games coming up. We have, like you would have seen in the last episode, we've got Chelsea coming up, City coming up, Everton away. A lot of games, but early on in this game, Riyad Mahrez, first attack, running down the right, cutting in onto his left foot. He hasn't scored too many goals. I think that's only his second goal this season, his first coming in the Premier League, of course. But he's played well. He's created some goals. He's created chances, definitely. He's got a lot of hockey assists. They, they're not going down on the stats, but I, I recognize them, you see. Jamie Vardy almost getting in the way of the shot there, having to jump out of the way in the last possible minute. But we got the lead. And we've, we've, we've had a tough time in the Capital One Cup so far this season. And peg back in with bait. I think that was the next attack because we scored in the third minute, I believe it was, and the celebrations went on until about maybe the fifth, sixth. So they took kickoff, went down the other end, and equalized just like that. We've had trouble in the Capital One Cup. And we've had some pretty, I don't want to say easy, no disrespect to all the teams, but Wickham, you don't expect to beat. I think, who else was it? Was it Morecambe we played in the last round and knocked them out? But we didn't, we, we haven't played as good as we've played in the league in the Capital One Cup. It just hasn't really transferred. But in the second, 22nd minute, so we put a cross into Jamie Vardy. It falls to him in the box and he just took too many touches. It took too long to try and put it in the back of the net but you see the pressure is all coming from us 27th minute this time Okazaki pulls it back to Mahrez and it's a good save from the keeper to keep them level again pressure from us Okazaki this time finding Jamie Vardy who doesn't usually play in the Capital One Cup games but like I said we've been having trouble so I decided to play the strongest team possible while keeping an eye on the games in the Premier League that are coming up because Usually the games coming up with Chelsea and City teams like that I wouldn't be expecting much from them but with the start that we've had to leave I, I've got to expect to at least come out and, and compete because we've had, to be fair, we haven't played too many top teams. We've played Arsenal recently, obviously we managed to get a draw as Sheffield miss a wide open goal there. Big chance for them to get back into it. But like I was saying, we, we drew with Arsenal, we beat Tottenham 5-2 believe it or not. And that's about all the challenge we've had in terms of big teams. Now we've got the bigger teams come in. We lost to Manchester United obviously in the last episode. Um. But here we got a chance coming. I hope we lost to Man United in the last episode because if this, I've recorded these in bulk, obviously. If that was in this episode, then spoiler alert, we lose to Man United. But it's a great counter attack in this game and we kill this game off. Obviously, Sheffield United were pressing to get the equalizer. Otherwise, they go out. But we managed to hit them on a the break. And I've noticed a lot of people don't really care about the Capital One Cup. Now, obviously, it is the Capital One Cup. It's not the biggest trophy, but it's a trophy. People talk about it as if it's nothing. Like, I like I don't really mind if I go out but I'm not gonna treat it like it's nothing you see what I'm saying but 90th minute we get another chance to make it 4-1 this time Okazaki hits the ball roll with great curler and those finesse shots are so much harder this year man like I don't think I've scored one from outside the box with a finesse like that yet but that was the closest I've probably come but you see we got the news big news this time Am I poised for the, the manager role for Mexico? I got an offer for Austria, which I don't know if I showed you guys, and I was actually really considering it. But by the time I completed the video, they rescinded the offer. I was actually really thinking about it. But let me know, guys, if you'd be interested in seeing some international games. I've said it before, I'd be willing to take some of the jobs. Mexico, to be honest, isn't really a job I'd be willing to take. But there are a few teams that I'd be willing to take. Germany, France, maybe England, probably not Spain. Just a few teams, you know. Yeah, let me know. Let me know if you want to see that. I wouldn't play all the games, but I'd play some of them at least. I'd be interested. I'd be really happy if I got Germany, for example. But maybe we'll see that in the Arsenal career mode. But you see, the game against Everton has kicked off and the chances are all going to Everton so far. Baines with a free kick here. Good save from Schmeichel. So we've had three highlights in the first half and they've all been Everton. And I say from now, I, I found it so hard to get into this game. You see the fog as well. 
is something that played into account. I'm not going to blame being under so much pressure to the fog completely, but it, it made it a lot harder. I couldn't really see, especially on one side of the field. It's so hard to see properly. And I've played since then, since this match in fog conditions um, previously. And it's not always as foggy, which is kind of interesting. Sometimes it's light fog, sometimes it's real heavy fog as Everton managed to finally break us down. Every single highlight in this match has been Everton. I don't think we've had a clip in this match and they completely deserve to take the lead 73 minutes in. And this is kind of what I expected the career mode to be like when I selected Leicester. Like obviously we, we've been on a cloud to start the career mode for the first few episodes. We've been top of the league. And we've just been cruising but recently the forms dipped a little bit and this match is what i expected it to be like more just under pressure especially against the big teams we i found it so hard but in the 87th minute we finally get a clip in the video and it's a long range shot easily saved by joel and then everton comes straight back down in the 90th minute baines whips a brilliant crossing and lukaku comes in and makes it to kills the game off completely and to be honest when 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 you are one nil up and it's like the 85th minute you see the CPU will pressure you, it'll put so much pressure on you to score that goal and you might be able to hit them on a the break. I, didn't, I wasn't able to put any pressure on the computer to try and get a goal back in this. They would, they dominated from the first minute to the last, like, it was so difficult. I don't know what it was, if it was the fog, if it was just Everton outplaying me. If I selected the wrong formation, I went with a 5-3-2 in this match. But you see, Morales got man of the match, and he was a threat all the way through. And bad news here, you see, as Jamie Vardy picked up an injury in that match, he'll be out for three weeks. Top scorer in the league, top scorer for the team, and you see, it's it. we're in December now, so transfer window is open soon. You see, a couple rumours are starting to circulate. you got Andrea Pereira, Sam Larson is one, Curtis Davies we've seen. Now, obviously, like I said earlier in the series, just because there are rumours floating around, it doesn't mean they're true. There might be some players in there that I am interested in signing, but some of them also, it might just be completely false. I might have no interest whatsoever in signing, so you guys are going to have to try and think which ones are true, you know? That's 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 going to be interesting. But still, even though I'm making these rumours up, if there's anyone you want me to sign, let me know and I will consider it. But you see here, we're up against Chelsea. they got two players in the top five for scoring. Diego Costa. And Eden Hazard, we have Jamie Vardy obviously, but in the lineup you can see right here, Okazaki and Kramer is starting, no Vardy in the team sheet because he's got that sprained ankle. We went with a 5-3-2 again and I actually took Hoof out because he was just, he was all over the place against Everton and I put Wazilewski in, I believe I put Wazilewski in, but yeah, 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 he did. He's right there, my bad. Yeah, I did put him in the lineup, but Chelsea, again, first couple clips of them. And they just started off so well, that clip from William. It was just the intent. I'll put that in there just to show the intent that they came at me with. From that moment, that was like the second minute of the game. And I, I knew from then, it was going to be tough, man. Diego Costa going close. He was, he was incredible in this match, man. He was too good. He was just creating everything. I don't think they even started Hazard in this game. So Diego Costa just created every chance they made. Him again, testing Kasper Schmeichel. And again, we haven't had a chance yet in this match. No clips. And this is at home as well. We we just getting dominated. Chelsea, I always have problems with them. They're they're one team who sometimes you play the top teams and they don't seem as good as they should be. Maybe like I don't know, you'll play Juventus and they're just a bit tame as Chelsea take the lead here. But Chelsea are always just dominant every time I play against them. I don't know if it's the same with you guys, but for me, I, I can't handle Chelsea, man. And I kind of knew I was going to lose this match when I went into it. But Diego Costa, of course it was going to be him. Because he was just all over us from start to finish. Just like Everton all over us last match. It was a great crossing from Baba. I think it was Baba who put it in. And Diego Costa, it was coming. It was coming, man. Because I couldn't control him. Ramirez, for some reason, captain. Chelsea, there's always problems with Chelsea's lineup in this game. In the last FIFA, it was always Mikel always started. Mikel always started every game. This time, it's Gila Boji always on the field i don't understand but you see another chance falling to chelsea 69th minute great save from schmeichel to deny pedro and we get up the field there but it's the 85th minute and we get dispossessed and then look this is just legendary legendary look just just legendary zuma ivanovic and ramirez just doing it look legendary they're treating me like it's a skill game like just i couldn't get the ball from them at that point and the game was over it ended one nil and we had no clips to show you in that match offensively at least and you see right here the stats we had zero shots on goal 
Zero on target, 42% possession. And that's it for the end of the episode. You see, we're falling down the table. We was first in the last start of the last episode behind Man United now, who got a game in hand also. And next episode, we have Manchester City to play. So the games, they're coming thick and fast, man. But that's what you want. You want to be tested. But that is it for this episode. We're going to have an Arsenal career mode episode coming soon. Watch out for that. Enjoy that. I appreciate you as always, guys. Bye.